Hi there, I'm Holly Chandler of the Julie Kinnear team. I'm going to take you through 31 Evelyn Avenue, which is in the heart of the Junction neighborhood. Check out our website, lovelytorontohomes.com for more information on the house, on the renovations, on the neighborhood, lots of pictures, and of course the floor plans. So there's a lot of uh, information to get here from this video, so please make sure to check that out. Uh, here's the streetscape of Evelyn Avenue. So. Uh, Residents in the area, in the junction, um, consider this one of the best streets. So it's just below St. John's um, and uh, north of Annette, and it's just tucked away from um, the main strip of the junction, uh, so Dundas West. And um, the sellers have told me they they consider the um, the neighbors, oh here we go, the front porch. Let's show you that, beautiful front porch. Um, anyway, they consider the, uh, the neighbors sort of an extension of family. They all look after each other, they're smart, um, interesting and friendly, you know, kind of uh, people that you'd like around your kids. So here we go, front entrance, stairs going up, the kitchen is back there. So I love that this is not totally open concept. I find people are preferring to go back to having a little division of space. So this is a wood-burning fireplace, got a nice, um, uh, large window at the front overlooking the porch and here we go the dining room and the kitchen and um, so the uh, the kitchen is renovated the dining room is large we've got some uh, fresh paint as well and uh, got a new countertop and lots of storage it's very comfortable and got all stainless steel appliances gas stove Tons of storage space and um, sort of handy inserts inside the cupboards. And here is the little family room, which is off the uh, off into the backyard. So you have direct access. So there's the backyard. And, um, you know, they're using it as a little music room. You could put a sofa there. Um, you could um, set up a playroom and, um, you know, cook in the kitchen, watch your kids. That kind of thing. So there we have the first floor. This has been dug out, so the uh, ceilings are very good height, seven foot four. So you can see that when I step back. It's, uh, it's got a little nook for an office space there. There's enough room for another place to work. So you can imagine everyone working from home these days. Um, and uh, yeah, sort of. Hanging out here, there are lots of, it's very comfortable. Um, and I love this, okay, so we've got a separate entrance. So going out the back. And this little space has been set up for sort of a games room. Um, I love this, because everybody loves those little nooks and sort of quiet places. Um, so, uh, yeah, so especially kids, you know, teenagers, they want to get away. So here's the separate entrance, it goes out to the backyard. Got lots of natural light. This used to be a kitchen. When they first bought the house, it was a kitchen. And um, there may be a rough in there still. Uh, so closet space, it's quite deep. I'm not gonna open it, but it is deep. Um, storage underneath the, uh, the stairs. It's all uh, laminate flooring down here so it's good quality uh, nice large um, laundry room laundry sink new appliances um, the home inspection report was uh, really good so um, you know lots of uh, uh, comfort knowing that so another closet and then uh, this huge bathroom so we've got heated floors and a nice shower stall. I don't think I turned on the light for that. I'm not sure, but anyway. So nice big shower stall, window there, and um, really nice vanity. You know, trip on everything. There we go. So it's all been recently done. So check out our website, lovelytorontohomes.com, and you'll find more details uh, about the renovations and about the neighborhood, floor plans, pictures, etc. So here we go upstairs. Okay, stairs.
upstairs. So three bedrooms, um, renovated bathroom as well. So a deep soaker tub. Nice window uh, with a film on it um, for privacy. Little nook for displaying, you know, photos or um, you know, plants, that kind of thing. More storage over the toilet. Uh, there is good lighting. And um, there is a quite pristine hardwood throughout the house. It's been very well maintained. It's got a great uh, home inspection report. I love this for little room. So we've got some built-ins here, lots of storage. There's another closet there. So tons of storage in this house. And it's, it's easy to stay really organized. These people are really organized. Um, yeah, so enough room for um, a twin bed. A little reading nook over here. And it um, looks out over the garden. So the back garden there, you can see that. So the uh, second bedroom is um, pretty much the same size. It doesn't have built-ins. Again, it's a nice window, good storage closet. Not there. So lots of space for everything. Shelves upstairs, or upstairs, up top. And uh, enough room for a queen size bed. So, and it's all been freshly painted. And here we go into the master. Of course, there is a, another storage closet here. So, into the master bedroom. Nice big bay window. Again, hey, there's a closet. So it's, uh, it's a pretty deep closet. And um, there we go. There's enough room for an armoire behind the, the door as well. And uh, I would say that this is large enough for a king size bed, maybe some smaller uh, nightstands, but this is a queen size bed and it's got good ceiling height as well. So I have a feeling this house will sell quickly because it's a hot commodity, this type of house in the neighborhood and um, in general. So I'm going to go quickly, check out our website, lovelytorontohomes.com because uh, I'm going to go fast. I'm going to show you the exterior and then the first floor, basement, and then uh, the second floor. Okay, here we go. So landscape gardens, hardscaping, and uh, going up to the house, there's this lovely front porch. And it's two stories, three bedrooms, two baths, uh, dugout basement, seven foot four uh, ceilings. And um, the sellers are gonna miss the neighborhood. And um, they said the uh, neighbors are kind of like an extension of family, so you know, intelligent, kind, and watch out for each other. So it's really the type of uh, people you want around your children. Um, there's a little glimpse of the backyard. Let me get this gate. So again, landscapes, the pergola is uh, lovely for dining at night and it's included as well. Here's the back of the house. So you can see that uh, insulated little family room there. This is a separate entrance to the basement. And in this uh, little door behind there is where they keep some gardening tools and they can tuck their bins around, uh, you know, um, keep their garbage bins and whatnot sort of hidden and, and you know, discreet and not out in the backyard. So privacy fences, both sides, and lots of nice hardscaping. There's artificial turf there for low maintenance. It's beautiful. Everything has been done. Um, nice patio area back here. This is a one and a half story garage. And uh, let me take you inside. So it backs onto a laneway and it's a dead end laneway. So it's sort of a, it's perfect for um, not just privacy and um, little traffic. So here you go. They have lots of storage and everything's been really well looked after. One, so one and a half, um, one and a half parking spots. And there's a look at the back of the house. So I'm gonna take you to the front, check out our website, lovelytorontohomes.com, and you'll find lots of floor plans and info as well. Okay, thank you.